My name is Blake Jarlam. Um, I started out as a home brewer and became friends with people in the industry and local breweries. Had the summer off as a school teacher, uh, started working at a brewery, and the rest is sort of history. Normal day around uh, the brewery, we're brewing two to three batches a day. You know, you start with your ingredients, water, malt, hops, and yeast, and I kind of work through it in that order. So, you know, you have water that make, can comprise anywhere from 90 to 92% of beer on average, um, and you heat that water uh, to mix it with malted grain. So when we, move, when we talk about grain, typically we're talking about barley uh, because barley is sort of the magical grain uh, that we use for brewing, A, because it both has enzymes, uh, but it has starches and it has husk. Um, and so uh, most of the other cereal grains don't contain husk or uh, enzymes that naturally occur on them. So we start with this barley, some mixture of it and water. By heating that water, uh, and mixing it with the grain, we activate those enzymes to break down the starch to sugar. So once we've broken down that starch to sugar, we want to separate the sugary liquid we now call wort from the stuff of the grain. Uh, so we filter out the wort and move it to a kettle where we can boil it. Once we boil, uh, we add the third ingredient, hops, uh, to add uh, lots of flavor characteristics, most familiarly uh, bittering, um, flavor, aroma, um, and that is all changed by the amount of time you boil or don't boil or add them into the brewing process. And then once we've done with the boil, we want to add the magical ingredient yeast uh, so we can have fermentation. We can't obviously add a living organism to boiling liquid, so we cool it down as fast as possible uh, to prevent any sort of uh, microbes from also feeding on that sugar source that we've now created. And then try to put it in a sanitary environment, feed it to yeast, uh, and then let the yeast go through its um, cycle to, to ferment the liquid or wort that will then turn into beer. Uh, after we've fermented it, we'll, in, in our setting, we crash the beer, which is cool it down after the yeast has gone through its fermentation cycle. Once it's cool, it makes the yeast go dormant, drop out, and start to clear the beer that we've created. And then you'll move it to a bright tank. Uh, that bright tank will be where the beer gets carbonated in one form or another. Uh, and then it will go to packaging.